SCP-040, Object Class, Anomalous Human, Containment Class, Active, Hazard Rating, Yellow, Standard Containment Policies, to two human residential module, no amenity restrictions, restricted to access to site lab library, recreational facilities, cafeteria, and public areas, supervised, dietary restriction, mild penology, youth educational curriculum enrollment, doctors, Abarthan, Abarthan, Abarnathy, Abar, Abarnathy, Abarnathy, Logan, and Izawa. Bi-weekly psychological review, Dr. Abernathy. Schedule B, experimentation plan. Special containment procedures, SCP-040-1A, 1C, and 1J have been approved to remain in the containment chamber with SCP-040 for purposes of the subject's mental well-being. Security Chief uh, Special Order is 392-5 blank 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 all others all other entities modified by SCP-040 during testing are to be disposed of after study according to standard biological specimen clearance protocols as outlined in document CDP BIO EN 1 SCP-040 is a human child capable at will manipulation of the physical characteristics of Living organisms, modified organisms, are collectively referred to as SCP-040-1. Modifications are primarily cosmetic, ranging from simple color and pattern changes to more involved shifts in bodily form and structure. The creation of new specialized organs are possible, but appears to be the limit of SCP-040's ability and currently has a 66% of failure rate in testing. Modifications are limited to what are, would be physically possible regardless of the probability of such feature naturally arising. For example, while SCP-040 can grant an organism wings that does not naturally possess them, they will not permit the creature to fly without meeting other physical requirements. SCP-040-1 undergo behavior shifts as part of the modification process, acting with extreme loyalty to SCP-040, regardless of prior association. SCP-040's anomalous property requires significant focus and time to enact and cause intense headaches and nausea while, when performed for more than a few minutes at a time. The effect becomes increasingly unreliable and inaccurate the smaller the modifications are, or the more complex the changes are. SCP-040 is incapable of altering microscopic organisms and has diff and has great difficulty in altering plant life. Dead organic matter may also be used, but must be used in conjunction with the living organism. Instances of SCP-040-1 cannot be modified more than once, though it is currently unknown if this is the hard limit of SCP-040's properties uh, or from lack of mastery over them. SCP-040's emotional state is within acceptable boundaries for an individual of its age group, accounting for the effects of prolonged containment and parent parental separation. Subject's intelligence is slightly above average for its age group. Behavior is generally cooperative. SCP-040 acclimatized quickly to its containment and responded well to the initial orientation and socialization programs. SCP-040 responds to the name 40 and does not appear to have any other given or chosen personal name. Recovery Summary Subject was taken into custody on blank blank 2008 as part of the raid on the Keys to Kingdom Christian Charter School for gifted youth in blank Colorado. The raid's primary objective being the capture or execution of Blank, a former CIA operative who had previously worked alongside the Foundation in years as part of a Project Black Book, uh, Project Smilodon, and Operation Stargate from 1967 to 1971 was successful. Blank was terminated on site and disposed of without incident. Of the 15, 15 children re recovered from the recovery, SCP-040 was the only one to demonstrate anomalous properties. The others were administered amnestics and placed in foundation-observed foster care. 
Interviews with staff at the school revealed that they are unaware of Blank's prior history or any connection to Foundation operations. They were administered amnestics and put under a six-month communications monitor. No relapses were recorded. See Operation Tatsa Worm after action reports to for a complete record. Addendum 01. SCP-040 is currently allowed custody of the following SCP-041-1 instances. SCP-040-1-R-1A. Symbiotic organism capable of changing size, shape, color, and texture in reaction to its environment. Subject serves as outer clothing, similar to jacket sweat or sweater, absorbs nutrients from SCP-040's bloodstream. Subject was recovered alongside SCP-040, and genetic testing reveals that the subject shares the majority of its genetic makeup with the common house cat. SCP-040-1C Spherical organism capable of flight by means of rubbery bladder is filled with lighter-than-air gas mixture. Entity has 11 limbs terminating with opposable digits and a complex respiratory system capable of replicating a wide variety of musical patterns. SCP-040-1J, quadrupedal organism covered in a thick coat of pink and blue fur. Entity has no eyes, a broad mouth, and a blunt, and blunt with blunt teeth, and is capable of climbing up vertical surfaces. Occasionally used by SCP-040 as a means of transport. Addendum 02. The following interview excerpt is dated blank blank 00 2008. Shortly after SCP-040's initial containment and orientation sessions. Good morning, Forty. Good morning, Miss Abar Abernethy. Sounds like you're getting over your cold. Mm-hmm. I'm glad. Can I ask you a few questions before we start with today's lesson? Yes. Can you tell me about your parents? Mr. Green said I don't have any. Can you tell me about Mr. Green, then? He was nice, but he, d he wasn't very good at talking. He would always, he would, would, would always, always talk uh, li like this. But he wasn't there a lot of the time. Most of them, most of the time he was nursing, he was, it was the nurses looking after us. What, what did they do to you? They play with us and teach us things and sometimes they would make us wear these dumb helmets and sit quiet for a long time. Sometimes they put a movie on for us if we behaved. But if we were bad, they would lock us in their rooms. Can you tell me something else? Hmm. They always served us peas for dinner. And I hate peas. So they gave mine to five. Because she liked peas. But I think green beans are better. SCP-040 successfully reanimated a deceased human body during testing. They're using three specimens of brown rat as the required living component. Resultant subject retained no memories of previous life and was judged to be the approximate mental capacity of a human toddler. SCP-040 was highly distressed by the event and refused to do further testing for the next three weeks. Footnotes Investigation during the tassel worm, oh, during Operation Tassel Worm for the blank, have been operating under the name Henry Green since at least 1982.